Hey everyone. I wanted to talk today about our evolution and how we evolve on the spiritual journey. And, and not in a way of, of what layers we go into because this the hierarchy is over. We might go into different depths and we, we often have a, an onion analogy, right? That we peel the onion and I will say things like, you will you'll have things come up in new ways and different ways as they, they go through those layers. So sometimes we feel like we've done a lot of work on receiving or a lot of work on our relationship with our parents or our dreams. But then we have another knock or another huge emotional response you know, months later, and that's the next level. But we also have the idea that where we start our journey is, is the beginning. And if we were a monk, we would start with learning the tenets and then we would move into the philosophy of applying it. If we were a... Um, a spirit religious philosopher, we would start with learning Latin and then we would move into reading and writing theses and philosophies. Um, Baker, we learn about basic ingredients and over time we learn about the variances of time temperature techniques. Okay, so we start with basics and we move into, I suppose, from apprentice to master, right? And this can be simple things with, we have rituals at the beginning of this development process, and then we have in everyday life, these things coming through. We move from right, lighting candles and, and saying prayers or asking for protection to moving about the world, going to the supermarket, expecting boundaries and protection, um, or having relationships that meet our needs instead of limiting to what we don't want to have in our world. So there's a lot of ways that this moves in our world. And if we take it down to the, the basics of spiritual practice, this can be simple things like um, using our crystals, where we might say we learn what they are, we collect them, and then over time, we develop a habit, a routine of using the same ones, or maybe we have a crystal in the morning. Some people put them on their water. Some people have them under their pillows. Um, some people also put them on their body as healing modalities, whatever, and tours. But when you do this in the first year, you're really strengthening up your body's knowledge of vibrations and healing. But five years from now, you would anticipate being able to simply call the vibration in you need. And the ritual that started with choosing your stones or having them on your body or, or in a place is, is not that necessary anymore. So you evolve. You evolve from basic ritualistic steps into in tuned use of, you know, they're just at your beck and call whenever you need them to be. Um, same as journaling. So we move from having um, our, our gratitude diaries, then we move from here into learning what we're, how we're experiencing things or what we're here to take from our experiences. Similar to cards, there's many people who prefer to use oracle or tarot cards for their intuition connection. And you may find at the beginning that you, you have a deck and you read the book or you, you do as I teach where you take your time reaching into the, the card for information and pull it back. But that becomes a beginner's step. That's how you get into your channel. That's how you get into your energy. Over time that's going to evolve and you may not even pick up the cards. You may be thinking about a person and going, mm, what do I need to know about this and see the energy or information that comes in. Or for you, you know, where you ask yourself, I wonder if this is a good idea and your body responds so automatically or your guides come in with images, words, information, feelings. So your, your communication has dialed up so far by this point that being needing to have a, a card to tell you the information is, is now irrelevant. So you might even just only look at the back and stay and see what comes through or you might put the item down 
and and just allow your intuition to move because when you are out and about if you are at a job interview or planning uh, an event or meeting people or being with people you love you you know the information comes you know that it comes through in your conversations that you don't need the ritual the base level the apprentice tools that got you here okay they become the waves in the background at the beach when you're meditating you don't need to get into the water anymore to know you're at the beach so I just wanted you to remember to give yourself permission to move, all right? We, we are developing through all of these layers, expanding our ability to experience on the world what we're here for. And you are allowed to grow. And I would love for you to witness this as either growing more into who you came here to be or being more able to extend your energy out around you and your experiences as you, rather than limiting your experience to only when you have this tool available or keeping yourself in a ritual that, that you have outgrown. And if you find it comforting, if you find that it helps you connect faster that's absolutely fine anytime it feels good do it but if you have a resistance or it's limiting your freedom or you would like to try more allow yourself to evolve and expand know that that's what you're here for and the beginning was only the beginning to teach you how to get there trust that you have new tools and reach for them see how you can experience them and what you would like to have